I've got four words for you. Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. A game that I was dying to play as soon as I heard it existed, and then quit about five months later. So let's talk about what happened. As someone who loves Gundam games, I always feel like they're underrepresented in the game industry. We usually have to wait like two to three years for a Gundam game to drop, and sometimes when they do drop, they can suck. Perfect example is New Gundam Breaker, but that's a different story entirely. <laughs> that's why a game like Gundam Battle Operation 2 is so cool. It receives consistent updates, it's free to play, and even two years later, the game still feels like new. I always thought there should be a Gundam game like that, but for mobile audiences. And then came Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. This game had so much going for it. Apart from the cheesy Gunpla story you expect from the Gundam games, you had the same customization, parts collection, and battle modes that you may have seen in some of the other Gundam Breaker games for console, but it was mobile, exactly the kind of game I wanted to pour hours and hours into when I was on the bus or sitting idly at work. I would have something to do that is Gundam related on my phone. That is fantastic. And you can do so much in this game, even though it's just mobile. That doesn't stop it from being able to let you build the strongest suit you can, create a team of several different suits with different specialties for different situations. You can mix and match to your heart's content. Level your parts up, rank up, create literally any horrible monstrosity of a suit that you want, because no one's gonna stop you. Who's gonna stop you? Right? Me? No. You can pose your suits, you can take photos if you're that vain, you can collect Haro chips, which is the game's in-game currency, increase your vault size, or whatever you call it, and you can spend those on rare parts as well. So heck, they even had weekly and monthly events that introduced new suits and parts on a regular basis. The challenges were hard, but weren't unfair. Rewards were valuable and achievable. And with each update, the game got better. When I started playing this game, I loved it. Until I didn't. Each of those things I just listed came back to bite the game in the ass down the road. With each update, the game got a little bit worse. Parts became so numerous that your built-in storage quickly overflowed with junk. Clearing these out was a tedious process that sometimes required literal hours of your time. Assessing whether or not you should actually sell those individual parts or keep them because you might need them later on. Not only that, but rewards became less and less achievable. Specific parts were required to accomplish specific tasks, requiring you to build new bots just to use them for one week in events. This in itself isn't that bad, since it forces you to learn how to build newer and, you know, better suits. But this happened every single week. After you built an excellent suit capable of beating this week's challenges, you had to dismantle it the next week and build something new. The problem with that is you have to actually level up your parts and this requires a lot of materials. Parts aren't always easy to come by, and if you want to level something up, you have to be selective as you get higher. So you end up having to pick which events you want to participate in and which you want to skip. So you might have to ask yourself a few difficult questions here. Here's how the conversation goes in your head if you feel like you're a bit of a completionist in any game that you play, where you want to participate and do all the stuff in the game. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to say, okay, do I want to buy and build this week's suit to win new rare materials? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Alright then, do I want to rank those parts up and then beat the challenges? Uh, okay, yeah, sounds good. Oh, but wait, 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 hold on. If I level and rank up these parts, I won't have enough nippers and awakening circuits for the next week's activity. Oh, okay, alright, so maybe I'll skip this week. Oh, but wait, hang on, wait, wait. If I skip this week, I can't get any new awakening circuits and nippers to level up next week. And, if I don't have the parts for this week and I don't win those parts for the next week, I won't have the right parts to boost my coin collection for the next week's events. Okay, hang on, wait, wait. So I see the problem here. I've got to spend money, and a lot of it, on a regular basis in order to succeed in this game if I want to participate in the weekly events. Now I completely understand the concept of games wanting you to spend money, especially if it's free to play, but with this game, it takes it to another level. 
because if you want to stay competitive in all aspects of the game, and actually play the game that's on offer, you have to pay a lot of money regularly. And if you're not, then please let me know how you do it so that I can also do the same thing, because I am at a complete loss as to how to keep up with this game without paying money. For example, at the beginning, there were a lot of parts, and then from the get-go you knew, you absolutely knew, that you couldn't possibly collect every single Gunpla part and build everything in the game. That's a given. You could build the suit you wanted, however, and play in the single-player matches or compete in the arenas, score as high as you could, and then gain more rewards. That's how the game was played at the start, but just at the start. In the first few months, you could actually compete in the arenas. And the arenas are where you can really take your absolute best possible suit. You know, your favorite main build that you want to use for every situation because it's so badass? That suit. And pit it against other people in matches. This is probably the main reason why why I quit the game. Because early on, if you skipped any particular week, this was not really an issue. You could still compete, you could still play against others, and you could still rank pretty high in the arenas. I would consistently get SS rank for the first, let's say, two to three months of the game. And then, now if I'm being completely honest with you, it's been a long time since I've actually played the game on a daily basis, but the main problem that stopped me from continuing playing the game was a problem that a lot of online fighting games have, and that was that Ken and Ryu effect. When they retooled the arena, the first thing they did was they increased the difficulty significantly, and then everyone was playing with the same suits. Because when everyone gets up that high, everyone is always using a Ken or a Ryu. And that's really annoying as a player that wanted to play with suits that they actually enjoy because that was their favorite from a show or an anime. When you're in the SS Arena, everyone at that rank is using the same mobile suit with the same EX skill. Now, I honestly don't remember what that skill was, but if you didn't have a suit that could counter that skill, you were absolutely screwed. You'll never go past a rank, or maybe even the S rank if you're lucky. The game developers rebalanced the arena so hard in the wrong direction that unless you were playing in this game at a frantic pace, Pace, you'd never rank high in the online arenas ever again. But you'd have to not only be playing at a frantic pace, but also spending a lot of money on new parts and ranking them up. This is when I felt the game really became pay to win. The arena's unfair gameplay made me rethink the whole thing. I couldn't compete in the arena against anyone because I didn't upgrade the correct parts. I should have just built a gunpla identical to all my enemies if I wanted to compete in this game. What adds to the game's new and retooled artificial difficulty is not only being able to collect the necessary parts with the right EX skills, but also trying to fight against the horrendous drop rates for each of the individual parts. You have better odds of winning the lottery twice in one night than getting the parts that you want for your specific mobile suit. Look at these drop rates. L look at this. 0.004% odds of collecting any given part. It's absolutely nuts that I want to get a specific item to catch up with all the other players, but the odds of me getting that one item, let alone multiple, in order to properly level and rank up and get the correct boosts because of matching parts, it requires a lot of money. Actual hard-earned cash. There's no two ways about it. Can I watch ads like other games and try to collect Haro chips or other currencies that way? <laughs> no, fuck that. You've got to participate in events. Okay, can I just buy Haro chips and use them on capsules? Well, yeah, you can, but not for all of them. Other ones you need guaranteed tickets. Oh, how do I get guaranteed tickets? Well, you buy some other capsules and you're gonna find out. Okay, I have some guaranteed tickets now. Can I buy these capsules? No, 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 no. You need Valkyrie coins. Uh, okay, where the fuck do I get those? Currencies in this game are maddening. Each week, there was a new set of coins I needed to, co to collect and spend. And then, you know what happened to those coins the next week? They were worthless. So if I wanted any of the cool new parts that I saw before, I had to participate in the weekly events. But then, we come back to what I said before. You can't participate in every week without pissing away actual money. I mean, come on, this is insane. Anyways, after having to question whether or not I keep the coins from old events or discard them one too many times, I just decided to walk away. I don't miss the game at all. It was fun before it became too much like work, and it required a significant amount of money if I wanted to stay competitive. So I bounced. If you're still playing the game right now, more power to you. If you're jumping in, you might not feel the same kind of frustrations that I did because I was there throughout a lot of the updates at the start. It was a rocky beginning. They did have a lot of difficulties with multiplayer, I get that. I wanted to stay, but then it got to a point where I just couldn't. That was about December of 2019. Just to be clear, it's not that I'm trying to review the game. I like the game. Well, I did for a time. I think the gameplay is pretty fun. It's pretty engaging. Building new suits is cool, but I don't think it allows for the right types of competition. And that's a significant problem for me, and this game 
does not let you properly and fairly compete. So for now, I'm just gonna stick with my daily Transformers Forge to Fight, which is a game that I really enjoy uh, on mobile. And also um, for my console situation, of course, I'm just playing Maxi Boost on. So I'm happy with that. And maybe because I was just introduced to Gundam Battle CN, I believe it's called, which is basically like a Gundam versus type game just for mobile. Although it was released only in China. So there's a bit of a, you know, rigmarole to get in and sign in and actually uh, read things. Although I did play Gundam Battle Operation 2 for about a year completely in Japanese, so I hope I can survive uh, reading Chinese, although I can't read either of those languages. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and listening to this. If you stuck around for the entirety of this video, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, I'm hoping to make more of these down the road, even if they don't get a lot of views. It's just fun and I like to do it. And I'm learning about, you know, Photoshop and like Premiere and stuff like that. So maybe look forward to more of these videos in the future. And if you want me to perhaps review or look at a specific game, I could do that as well. Drop some notes in the comments. If you like Discord or Twitter, I'm also on those platforms as well. So there are links at the bottom. Um, if you want to subscribe to me, I don't even care. Go for it if you want, uh, if you think <laughs> this will benefit you in some way. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, but, you know, do what you want. I'm not your boss. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in more videos in the future. Bye-bye for now.